Remember that chemical reactions involving a transfer of electrons are known as redox reactions. In a redox reaction, the substance that accepts electrons, the copper ions, is called the oxidant. The substance that donates the electrons, the zinc metal, is called the reductant. As the reaction continues, the newly formed copper atoms are locked into the lattice and build up on the surface of the copper strip. At the same time, the zinc strip progressively disintegrates as its atoms become zinc ions and move into the solution. But isn't there a problem? Won't these ions create an electrical imbalance in the zinc solution? After all, each one carries two positive charges. This is where the filter paper comes in. Remember, it's saturated with a salt solution, potassium nitrate. It's known as a salt bridge, and here's why. It allows ions to move between the solutions in the two containers. And that's exactly what happens, maintaining the balance of charge. According to our electrochemical series, the iron half reaction should produce 0.77 volts, and the magnesium half reaction should give us 2.38 volts. So we predict that a voltmeter will show a reading of about 3.15 volts. In fact, the reading is a little less than this, and there's a very good reason. The E0 of any half reaction depends on the conditions in which the reaction takes place. The concentration of the solutions, temperature and pressure can all affect the reaction. The e naughts shown in the table were all derived under standard conditions. That is, one molar concentration of solutions, 25 degrees Celsius and one atmosphere pressure. If you move significantly away from these standard conditions, not only will the e naughts change, even the order of the reactions may change. Do these changes matter? One example. We've probably all experienced that freezing winter morning when the car wouldn't start. Usually the problem is the battery. The low temperature inhibits the forward reaction, significantly reducing the battery's energy output. Without sufficient power, the engine simply won't start.